Well, uh, if you don't know, I'm Ken Clark. I'm the president and CEO of the Pritzker Military Library. And since 2006, the library has been distributing books to JROTC academies uh, throughout the city. Tonight, we're going to give another 600 books to the Chicago Public School System. And uh, hopefully, these books will be used in the military academies as you guys see fit to further the study of military history, which, last time I checked, is something that you guys are interested in. Am I correct? OK, good. Um, many of these books that you'll see behind me are, uh, are books that, quite frankly, if I didn't have, I'd want to go get myself. For example, this is Rick Atkinson's book from his Pulitzer Prize winning trilogy, uh, the Liberation Trilogy. And uh, Rick is a, uh, if you haven't read what Rick Atkinson has written about World War II, it's probably something to put on your reading list. Um, he used to be a journalist. And uh, he was embedded in Iraq. And then he's come back and taken all those experiences and started to write about our history here in the United States. His next trilogy be, will be about the American Revolution. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, you have other books. Uh, any book on Churchill, this is a particularly good one. Um, this is the, a political biography of Churchill. And if you don't know about Churchill, uh, he is the guy who led England during World War II, and he was actually voted out, out of office in England before the war was over. So can you imagine doing all that but getting voted out of office? So um, there are many other books up here that, um, quite frankly, are, are worthy of your attention, and hopefully all of them can be used to further uh, your education and um, I guess figure out what it is that you want to do when you go into college because you know part of what you're doing now leads to college and what you're going to do next and having access to the books that you will find in your college libraries as well is important. Um, the library, um, if you don't know this, I think you all do, but the library is a unique place in America. There's nothing like it. Um, we've looked all over the place and we've found things that are kind of similar. But the fact is, is those kind of similar places are usually on military bases. So it's kind of hard to get into those as a civilian or if you don't have an official pass. Um, the museum component of what we are, sometimes you see those military museums by the side of the road. There's one going up Wisconsin where it's a military museum. There's a bunch of old rusting equipment. We don't really do that. What we do is we collect the stories of citizen soldiers through the artifacts and papers and letters that they give us. So either the families of soldiers or the soldiers themselves are giving us those things. And we also get books. Um, the reason that we are able to distribute these books to the JROTC program here in Chicago is we acquire so many books through our collecting that sometimes we have duplicates. So all of these books actually already exist within our own library. And then we're able to then turn those around and then give them out to build other libraries in the city. Um, we, the majority of everything that we receive is given to us by others, which is something that is interesting. Um, we didn't know what we were doing in this respect when we opened this place. We didn't realize there was such a need for an institution like the Pritzker Military Library. Um, and the example of that is there was about 7,000 books that we started with we now have over 45,000 books in our collection. And about 65% of those come from donors. And it's the same with the objects collections that we have. We don't buy a lot of stuff. Most everything that we get, people want to put into our care so that we can preserve it and share it with others. So um, these books are kind of a result of that collecting. And so kind of the city of Chicago and the library are the beneficiaries of this activity. And so it's a small way that we can give back to the city that we live in. So, Colonel Kelly, is there anything that you would like to share with us about this donation? Ken, thank first you. of all, thank you very much for, for this donation. And yes, I can, I can think of a, a couple of things to say right away. That uh, first of all, these books are a, um, a great addition to the libraries at, at our military academies and for the students who will use them. And I just wanted to, as you were speaking, I was looking at the array of books here and I'm thinking, okay, you talked about the Churchill book here. And I thought how important it was, of course, I'm going to say that the Naval Academy has dibs on that because of their special affiliation with the Churchill Society. But the, uh, the Tawani uh, scholars trip that went to uh, Normandy this year went by way of England. And the Churchill Society there 
had a special interest in that group, and they took them to some special places that uh, had to deal with Winston Churchill and his legacy uh, and time in World War II. So this would be a particularly interesting book for our Naval Academy. And then I was thinking, okay, Pearl Harbor, and we have an event coming up uh, in the next few months here, I think, uh, here in Chicago, talking about the survivors of Pearl Harbor who are coming here along with people who uh, were serving in World War II, the Band of Brothers. So different studies about World War II that our academies will intersect with later uh, this year. So we know that these books will have extremely valuable use to our students and uh, their, th their interaction. But it does prepare them for college. It does prepare them for what's going to happen. But I think it just enriches their life right now. When you read these stories and you, you see uh, this history that's here, and then you can, can just feel that and understand that, and then when you have the chance for some of uh, our select students who get to live that by going on those Taiwanese scholar trips to places like Normandy or to Bunker Hill or to Gettysburg, all of those places just so valuable, and these books help the research to prepare them and then do the follow-on for that. So we thank the, the library and you for uh, this donation. I guess the, the most important thing, and rather than me speaking any further, I'd like to invite two cadets to come up and speak Wonderful. about what they have learned or gained from this. So, Brandon, if you could. This is uh, Cadet Wilson from Chicago Military Academy, Bronzeville. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, this, this entire array of books is really a special to me, for one, because uh, if, well, I'm going to United States Military Academy at West Point. So I received a letter of assurance. And so ever since I've made it my goal to become the best Army officer in the world, I've been looking for information and different leadership styles and just the stories of all those that have come before me. Because it's not, it's not an easy task, you know, walking up to a general officer or you know a one star or a three star and asking him oh okay how do I be the best cadet how do I become the best officer that I can be so really looking back in these books and I immediately caught my odd, you know general pattern and that's because I'm already looking for it, uh, these experiences and the just the different stories that they have because it really does you know enrich our lives like he said even right now and I'm not even actually in the military just yet Mm -hmm. So it, it really does mean something special, and not only for me, because I'm just only one of, you know, the 9,000 or so, 10,000 or so cadets out there, and there's definitely more, I can definitely tell you. So, Thank you, Brandon. And uh, here, um, Cadet Olivares from the Naval Academy, if you uh, might just say a, a word or two about uh, your use of, the, of these books in the past. Well, thank you for this donation. This beautiful array of books are really useful for our school. Like Colonel Kenny said, this, this book in particular for our Churchill, because it can really help our curriculum mostly in history, because we, we, every yearly we hold the Churchill event, and we really could probably learn even more from this book. And yeah. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Thanks very much. So uh, certainly you can see that uh, the cadets will put these books to use. Uh, again, our academies here are represented, and we uh, again just say thank you very much to the Pritzker Library, to our you, pleasure. Mr. Clark, for uh, your pleasure. donation of this. Yes. So, maybe we can just give them all a round of applause. Yes. Thank you.